It's a long way to Cooperstown. If you fly into Albany, just take the New York State Thruway west about an hour before heading south on the Old Lake Road. As you wind down 31, past grain silos and low-slung valleys, you turn into your final destination, the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Since 1936, the Hall has welcomed Major League All-Stars to join this distinguished final roster. They've honored more National League than American League, more infielders than outfielders, more pitchers than any other position, and more New York Yankees than any other team. For many, it began on sandlots and city streets, wherever a game could be started with borrowed gloves and improvised bases. They came from Cincinnati and Pittsburgh, Boston and DC, St. Louis and Chicago, from Negro League teams in the Midwest, expansion teams in Canada or California, and rival leagues in Mexico, Puerto Rico, or Japan. Not everyone makes it to Cooperstown. With thousands playing America's pastime around the world and hundreds on Major League rosters, only a few who started down this road have made it into the hall. But they all left behind their stories. In baseball history and culture, we'll hear those stories. We'll hear how some of the great players, managers, and teams have made an impact on the field, and sometimes how they shaped society beyond the ballpark. Our road may start in a sleepy little town in upstate New York, but it doesn't end there. Mm -hmm.